Hey Bruins! I'm Jenna. And I'm Sarah. Welcome back to Something's a Bruin. On October 31st, Hosa is doing a blood drive here at Ballard. Sydney Page and Kiana have the full details. Let's take a look. Hey Ballard Bruins, don't forget about the upcoming blood drive on Monday, October 31st in the small gym. Appointments are every 15 minutes from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Students can sign up with Ms. Howell in South 116. Or use one of the QR codes on these signs around the school. Or go to redcrossblood.org and use our sponsor code Ballard Bruins. You must be 17 years old to give blood without parental consent. You can be 16 years old, but your parent must send the parental consent form. See Ms. Howell for that form. You must be at least 110 pounds. The shorter you are, the more you need to weigh, especially for females. Bring a copy of your photo ID to participate. Make sure to eat a well-rounded breakfast or lunch, depending on the time of your appointment, filled with lots of carbs and proteins. Also, make sure you're hydrated. Make sure to wear something that you can raise above your elbow. Now a word from Krithik about this upcoming event. I'm here with... Krithik Nanampali, and I'm the president of HOSA. And what is the blood drive? The blood drive is just a way to give back blood to people in need. Why is the blood drive important? It's just a way, you know, to give this blood back and, like, people who need and just help out your community. Ballard students have accomplished some really great things. The collage is a publication that has showcased these accomplishments. This Ballard tradition includes both alumni and students in the Ballard community. Take it away, Emma and Tanya. Welcome to Ballard's Unknown, where we uncover different things at Ballard that you might not know about. I'm Emma Westerman, and this week we're going to be spotlighting the Collage, a student-run organization here at Ballard. What is the Collage? Um, so it is both um, an organization as well as a class. We actually get our own class. But um, students in the class write um, creative works such as poetry, short stories, scripts, longer stories. And then um, from those works, the best are selected to be published in you know, a book along with art pieces from our art department at Ballard. Um, the students also in the class have an opportunity to win um, an award near the end of the year. So that's collage specific though. Um, but a really fun part of it is, like said earlier, um, any student at Ballard or any alumni of Ballard can enter work that will be published in the collage. I am the editor-in-chief. Uh, this is my second year of collage and I'm a senior so I get senior already. But um, pretty much I do the final peer reviewing and uh, me and my co-editor is about decide um, what goes in the final collage. What's your favorite part about the collage? Uh, unsurprisingly writing. Same thing, same thing. I just like to write, you know, talk my mouth, get my words out, you feel me? Join. It's gonna help you be able to use your words in a way so like when you have to write your college essay and all of that. To be able to like communicate my feelings um, and make others understand and feel what I'm trying to express and I think it's just um, writing has always been like a passion of mine and I've always loved doing it and just having like a class that you can just that I can just have an hour of doing stuff that I love it's really amazing I really like it have you heard of the special resident that lives in South 104 yeah, Deborah the Snake lives there. I wonder what else goes on in that room. Wildlife enthusiast Brian Coben visited Miss Kale's zoology class to talk about what he's done in his job. Many students enjoyed what he had to say and were impressed with what he's done. While visiting Ballard, he also gave some great tips on how one can get into wildlife after graduating. We had the pleasure of interviewing Mr. Coben. It's really important if you want a career in wildlife uh, to find a university that offers a wildlife degree. Um, and if not, still go and find a university that can provide the course curriculum that will match the requirements of the Wildlife Society. Uh, that'll allow you to be hired as a wildlife biologist. And once you're down that track, it's really important to volunteer, gain experience, do as many different things as you can. As the weather gets colder, I've been wanting to bundle up in a nice cozy sweatshirt. Ballard sells some really cute sweatshirts. Oh really? I want to see some. Hi, I'm Tammy Marion. I am the entrepreneur uh, teacher for the bookstore during fifth period. Uh, just letting everybody know we're always open during fifth period for all lunches, so you can always come in and shop. Um, we do have some new items that have come in recently. We have some new hoodies new crew neck, some t-shirts. Um, it's kind of the same uh, attire that we've always had, but we have some new logos and just some different things um, for this year. 
Uh, you can also come in and see our new and uh, new remodeled bookstore. It's a little bit more, I guess, warm and inviting than it was before. So uh, everyone's welcome. And if you have any questions, you can always uh, stop in and ask. Thanks so much. Okay. If I were to get one thing in this store, my favorite thing would probably be this quarter zip right here. One of my favorites is this crew neck, but there's only so many left, so make sure you come and get them while they're on sale. I would pair this cute little zip up with this beanie for the colder weather. Ballard's Theater Department is putting on the play Clue. The performance will be on October 20th and October 21st in the Fine Arts Center. Tickets will be sold at the door for five dollars. Here's Miss Anderson with some more information. So, what is this play about? So, it is based on the 1986, maybe the 1986 film. It's almost exactly the same story. So, you have a bunch of people who don't know each other but are sort of mysteriously connected that are all invited to dinner one night at Body Manor. Why should people come see your play? I think you should come see the play because it's really funny and the kids have worked super hard and it's been since pre-COVID that we were able to have a fall play. So we're super excited. It's our first one since 2019. Thursday the 20th and Friday the 21st, doors open at 6, curtain goes up at 6.30. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching and go watch Clue. We've all probably heard about Dance Maroon or sell the yellow t-shirts at some point. But what exactly is Dance Maroon and why should we be involved? Well, those questions are about to be answered in this interview with Dance Maroon staff and student committee members. Okay, I'm here with Ms. Jacobs, and we are going to be discussing um, Dance Maroon. So, Ms. Jacobs, what is your favorite part about Dance Maroon? So, Dance Maroon is an opportunity for our school to be able to specifically impact the community here in Louisville when it comes to pediatric cancer. So, it allows us to be able to actually, like, raise funds throughout the school year with small activities like our cornhole tournament as well as the kickball tournament that just took place um, along with other larger activities such as the dance marathon that will happen at the end of the year. So especially with pediatric cancer being a part of our school community and specifically some of our students, it's a really good way to get involved for a really good cause. Why should students be involved in Dance Maroon? So the biggest thing for me is that Dance Maroon is a smaller version of Raise Red that happens at the University of Louisville. So UofL has a 12-hour dance marathon. Ours is much shorter than that, but it provides us with an opportunity for us to really learn from one another as well as a we're able to um, really just get a sense of camaraderie for our students. So being involved with that at UofL was really important to me because it gave me a place to fit in. And um, so being able to do that gave me a sense of not only like where I belong, on a big large campus even such as Ballard but specifically being able to feel like I'm giving back to a community. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Something's a Bird.